Carter Halton has the ball in his hand. He is ready to go. 5'11 lefty from Georgia will start against Ty Evans. And we are underway in game two with a ground ball to third. And Davis Diaz. And a ground ball to the right side to the shift. Jaden Davis is there. And two down. Swing and a miss to take care of Shelton. Only nine pitches needed. Vestine was 0 for 4 last night, and he bangs one up the middle to get on base to start this game. Tripled in his second, and the runner goes, and the throwdown is not in time, and a stolen base for Vestine. In a perfect world, two times through the order. He has hit by a pitch again. Here's a 2 1 pitch to Espinal. Runners on the move, swing and a miss, throw to third, is in plenty oh, of wow. time, but drop. Tyler Shellnut. That looks to be pretty routine. Bites him. Big swing and a miss. Yeah, and I think I think sometimes swing and miss isn't the worst thing in the world. And he sends a fly ball to left field. This will push Landon Russell all the way back, and it's going to hit the ground and over the wall. Automatic double for Jaden Davis, who drives in two in this first inning. And he's starting to swing the bat like he's got a shot. Hot shot to third. Nice pickup. Nice play. And Shellnut. Ben would wrestle it. <laughs> <laughs> Shellnut with a swing and a miss. That's a second strikeout for Carter Holton. Jumps a little bit extra. Swing and a miss. Third straight strikeout. Laniv had a couple of hits last night, including a home run. One of four hit by Vandy. And he lines this one down the right side. And that will get into the corner. Troy Laniv on his way to second. Ty Evans finds it in the corner and brings it back in. It's a one-out double for Troy Laney. If you're Kevin O'Sullivan. 3-0. And it's a four-pitch walk. Walk in the home run. Runner goes from first, and this ball served to right field. Ty Evans is there. Grow into what we're supposed to be, and, and then weight room-wise, I mean, it's, it's unreal here. So I'm just very appreciative to have it, yeah. Here's the 3-2 to Brody Doné. And yeah. it is strike three called. For three months after he got drafted, you thought, well, this guy's got a chance to make the team. Espinal sends this one high and deep to center. Robertson all the way back to the wall. It is gone off of the light tower. Espinal's sixth home run of the season. It hit the column and came back on the field, but was above the yellow line. And Vanderbilt has a 3 nothing lead. His, that means your direction is right on point. And here's the line drive to right center. Robertson can't get to that one before it hits the turf. Jaden Davis has come to the plate twice tonight. He's got two doubles. Ground ball to third. Ooh, Shellnut wow. takes care of it. Statcast measurement, 516 feet. Longest home run in the Statcast era. And he sends a ground ball up the middle. The shortstop. Bastine handles it. What is the comp for Caglione at the next level? I mean, it's that kind of power. It's Giancarlo Stanton, Lavalette, and Grahovic, the, the freshman. It's, now did that hit the knob? Jackets lead in the seventh in Charlottesville. Facing Diaz, who's hitting 25 points higher Ooh. in league play than overall, and Diaz takes a walk to load the bases. With Espinal right now. Breaking mm. ball swung on a miss. What a pitch by Liam Peterson. Winning games, winning the league is harder than it's ever been. But I think he's still every bit as enthralled in the leadership piece that he's ever been. What I think, you know, you hear Saban after he's retired and he talks about, you know, you can't coach them the same way. Heyman sends this one in the gap in left center. That's going to drop for the Gators' first hit of the game with one out in the fifth inning. The 2 2 to short. Vastine will go the easy way to finish off the frame. First hit of the game for Florida. Gotten loose out of the bullpen and entered the game last night before a lightning delay. That is a fair ball down the line. Caroms off of the brick wall. Over to get it is Russell, who I just met, mo uh, mentioned, and Matthew Polk pulls in with a two out double. 1 0 pitch. Pulled to the right side and Caglione. Handles it with ease. A I'm lot not of asking you to I sing and dance. Try. No, there's some things I would I would not try. 
High fly ball well struck to center. Polk all the way back to the fence. That one is Ooh. gone. Six home run of the season for Brody Doné. And as you said a moment ago, we still have a game, and boy, do we. This shot makes it three to one, Vandy. There's the long ball from this Gator offense. <laughs> There's a two low. And he drives it high and deep to right field. And Jack Caglione with a record shot. Indeed loves lefties. Right on cue from the big left-hander. And he is tied, Nevada's Tyler Bassetti, with nine consecutive games with a home run. Tim Corbin was asked last night, how do you keep from Jack, Jack Caglione from hitting home runs? He said, you just throw four wide of the plate. That's what happens. Try, oh, that's a hanging slider. I take that back, Tommy. That's a breaking ball that just doesn't do a whole lot. And we've seen him cover everything, fastballs, curveballs, and now the slider. And you talk about a no-doubter on a, on a night where the ball maybe isn't jumping like we saw last night. This thing leaves the facility. 15 of his 23 have come against lefties. I want you to find his home run rate versus lefties. A strike out of Shelton, a five sign to the back of the bleachers and see if it's more than 26 feet. Line drive single. A start off the sixth for Vanderbilt. Score from second on a base hit to the outfield. Those kinds of things are winning plays. Tipped him the catcher's mitt for strike three. Swing and a miss. Holton can go deep. He's thrown over 100 pitches in three of his last four starts coming into tonight. Up the middle under his glove and into center field. And Luke Heyman reaches. It's getting late early, right? Swing and a miss. 2-2. Two -two. Lined up the middle. Vastine gloves and throws. And that will end the Florida threat in the seventh. Yeah, I mean, you could but, argue that it, it ended the way it was supposed to. That doesn't change the fact they blatantly missed the pitch clock, which... Jane Daniels pounds one up the middle for his third hit of the game. Breaking ball hit to short. Step on second for Shelton and got him over at first. Transferred in from Virginia Tech. And he gets tied up at 92 inside for strike three. Here's Ginther's offer. Swing and a miss. Back to back K's. In this leadoff spot since taking over there, but tonight not much. To third, Diaz, long throw, bounced it to Austin to finish off the inning. Oh. Glad he's okay. And he does, sends a gapper to the right center field side, and that will hop up over the fence for an automatic double. And with a springy turf here, we see that often at Hawkins Field. Jacob Humphrey is your new pinch runner. High fly ball to left field. Russell has plenty of space. Polk looking to tag. Catch made. The throw goes to third. And it advances both runners. As consistent as you could possibly imagine. Waved at a breaking ball and the tag applied to finish the strikeout. Ground ball to short. Nice play by Shelton from his knee. Not in time. And Vanderbilt extends the lead here in the eighth. Scoring Humphrey from third. Austin's kind of doing this progression of more each season. Diaz committed to it. That'll close the Vandy eighth, but not before they add a couple more. We will see Jack Caglione. Caglione will be on the mound tomorrow. He's 6'6", 250 pounds. High fly ball to center field. Park will hold it as Polk catches it. That used to be a really big deal in college baseball. On the ground, little roller off the changeup, and Shelton retired without the leadoff walk in the eighth inning, followed by the double and eventually two runs for Vandy. Gave him some cushion. They didn't have to worry about Caglione. And they take the first two games of this series, 10 to 5 and 5 to 2.
Thank you.